Hello, hello, and welcome to another How to OU at USU. Today we will be continuing to look at layouts and we'll learn how to make a right aligned layout feed uh, using just Bootstrap 4 and a text editor and just kind of coding it out ourselves. Um, so to begin, I've already logged in. I'll go to my folder, create my new page and we'll go to right align feed we'll go ahead and add that and i'll go into edit delete everything because i don't need it save it then i'm going to go ahead and open up my text editor i'm going to use visual studio code um and i will go from there um so all of utah state university uses the Twitter Bootstrap CSS library. You can learn more about Twitter Bootstrap um, from Twitter's Twitter Bootstraps library at getbootstrap.com. Uh, they have excellent documentation on how it all works and what all you can and can't do, all that sort of stuff. Um, highly recommend it. Um, for layouts, you know, we'll just start with the layouts and you can read on how to do that. This is what we're going to be using today to make this um, wireframe that we have down here, right? The only sort of thing that we don't have to worry about is wrapping everything in an initial container. So you can kind of ignore that. Uh, we just need to set up the rows. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'll come back to my text editor. Um, Visual Studio Code has this cool extension that's already uh, built in to the editor that lets you have a bunch of shortcuts for creating markup. Um, that tool is called Emmet. E-M-M-E-T. Uh, there's some other cool videos on YouTube that'll tell you a lot more about how to use it and do some really cool things. Um, but for today, I'm I'll use it just to do some basic things. Um, we're going to start by creating a div tag. So I'll type in div. And then I need to specify a class on that. So I'm going to type in a dot for class uh, using this extension called Emmet. And then I'll type in row because that's the class that I want it to have. If I come back to my get bootstrap documentation, I can see that. Um, and I can kind of get an idea um, of what I need. Then I'm going to give that row a child of a div and it's going to have a class of col12. That'll be our first row. It'll take up all 12 of the potential columns that it can in the bootstrap library. I'll push tab and try that again. You'll notice I mistyped 11. There we go. I could put my H1 in here, something else. Uh, or I don't know. I don't know. Uh, something for your header. Uh, and that'll just be useful. And then I'll go in and make uh, an initial sort of template right now. I'm going to put it in parentheses because I'm going to want to repeat it multiple times. So I'm going to actually want to repeat it three times. So I'm going to put parentheses three, and then I'm going to type in what I want. So what do I want? I want a div with a class of row that has a child with a div with a class of col12. So that way on cell phones, everything will line up and look pretty. And then on tablets and larger devices, I want it to take up eight of the 12 columns on the left, and then four of the remaining columns on the right. I will do that by typing in col sm not 12. That'll take up all 12. I need to type in 8 and that'll give me this first div that takes up uh, 8 of the 12 columns and then I need to add another div, a sibling div um, that will have 12 columns on the smallest device and then col sm Four, take up the last four of the 12 columns on a small screen. And then I've already wrapped that in parentheses and times three that, I'll tab that, and then I can see that I have all three of these rows that have been created. And then I can add whatever I need to um, inside of them so this is where you know this is where you would add your content um we'll just 
my keyboard's being a little sluggish today. So let's see, we'll just add a paragraph tag with some lorem ipsum in it. For all of them, I'm guessing. Um, you could put images, you could you can do whatever you want. It just you know. Uh, the way I'm doing this right now is again using Emmet and I'm just pushing P for set up a P tag and then tab and then typing in lorem and then hitting tab. And if you're using Visual Studio Code, it'll just do this for you auto magically. Isn't that awesome? So awesome. And yeah, then I need to do that for the last one too. I'm actually just gonna copy the one that already has that and delete that and paste the new one in. There we go. Then I'll copy all of that. Obviously you'd finish filling this out, fleshing it out so that way it looks and does what you want um, with the markup. And then you come back to OU Campus, go into edit, go into your source code and paste that in. Click OK, and then you can see, OK, yeah, we have all of the things, and then you can go ahead and click Show Box. Um, if you didn't already put in all of the content while you were in your text editor, you're a fool. No, I'm joking. Um, ah, you might be a fool. I don't know. Uh, I personally think it's much easier to go ahead and just use your text editor because you have complete control, and you can just do exactly what you want the way you want. Um, without the editor doing weird things but you know your workflow is up to you um once you got your basic layout you know throw your content in there or uh create your basic layout in your text editor and throw all your content in there and then just paste it over and be done so once you're ready you'd save it and um submit it for approval Obviously, if you want it to get approved, you will include a title, you'll include a meta description, you will not include lorem ipsum, all that sort of stuff, but that's the regular jazz. So, cool. Uh, that has been how to create a right aligned feed using Bootstrap 4 classes and a text editor and just doing it by yourself. Super easy. Um, yeah, a little bit of a learning curve up front. You got to figure out this Emmet thing and how to do that. You can watch some videos on YouTube and figure that out real quick. And then also there's a bit of a learning curve with figuring out all the Bootstrap 4 classes. Um, you know, go to this page, read it, and you'll be up to date and caught up on how to do that. Or, you know, just kind of play with it. And it, it makes pretty good intuitive sense. So um, SM is for small devices. Uh, LG for larger devices, so like a laptop or something, and then XL for like a desktop with a huge monitor or something like that, or like a TV screen, um, and then just not specifying anything for the smallest devices. That's if you're using Bootstrap 4. If you're using Bootstrap 3, they used to have a an XS class that did the same thing as this. Um, so it would have just been cole-xs-12 in Bootstrap 3. Uh, bootstrap 4 you don't even have to worry about that so super easy um or you can just let bootstrap take care of it for you um as you can read in the documentation so cool hopefully that's helpful thanks mm, bye